three men up the road, nothing new on a day that's destined to end in a sprint. And quite frankly, um, I feel sorry for them. Uh, look at this uh, trio right now, starting to struggle just a little bit, gets a ball off the back of uh, the duo up front. A uh, little bit of argument, Yellow well, they say, come on, if you want to deliver this and give ourselves a chance, uh, we're going to have to work together. And look who's staying safe, uh, Simon Yates up towards the four. Now he's marking out, uh, presumably, Valverde to make sure he doesn't uh, sit behind any uh, gap that catches him out. Uh, but what an instant this will be if these guys bring it home. 23 seconds uh, with two and a half uh, kilometers to go. Uh, 1,700 meters to go. So what's uh, what's left? They've been round the big roundabout. These guys have got to do exactly that. There we are, 1.5 kilometers to go. 500 meters before they make a big right-hander. It will be glorious if they manage to bring it home, but they've got to work together, and it's starting to break down as an alliance, and I think the same thing, frustration may be born of that. Out here, Valverde has made a use of himself. He's, uh, the green jersey is very much up towards the fore, and Simon Yates hasn't been able to come off the gas as a result um, uh, because because of that, uh, Trentin is in the mix. You see the European champion, but it'll be a mixture, I'm afraid, that doesn't produce the cake because these guys are going to have it and eat it. And they take that uh, turn right now. There's the ramp in front of them. Can they bring it home? 16 seconds. They've got to drive into this. There's your flam rouge, Sean. Can they do it? Well, I think if they continue on walking as they have been, but the problem is now it looks like they're starting to look oh. at each other. Who's going to continue on here? And we can see there's big panic. Four hands go up, panicking there. Flex like a friend as well, putting men up we can see Fellini there appearing to the front and uh, it's all panic buttons being pushed at the moment it says 10 9 8 but uh, it's a cloud countdown clock we saw there not a gap and I think they're gonna make it home so who's it gonna be oh between this pair it's got to be yellow well ace he's uh, just sitting behind at the moment has he got anything left 500 meter ramp right now and they're all coming they're all after it Fellini uh, looks exhausted drifts over as well there's others trying to formulate themselves into some kind of fighting force and that is Postelberger trying his, his very hardest here to deliver Peter Sagan but over the ramp they come and I think they're gonna make it Beastrom on the head here, Yellow Valais just behind, probably starting it as favourite at this point, but Peter Sagan's after them, they've got to be careful, 300 metres to go, Sagan's fully invested, Viviani's got Sabatini to lead him in at the moment, there's other big names here, big sprinters, and they're going to get caught, come on boys, you've got to hold on for this, Sagan wants a win, of course, just to greet his everybody up, and still they go for it, uh, either side of the road, there comes the Italian trickler, Peter Sagan's not going to get there, oh, it's going to be a breakaway success, yes, they make it, what a indeed of the sprinters and I absolutely love that bravery born of fortitude and belief they had the class and they made it count wow a surprise for most of us a surprise for you as well yeah everybody was expecting a massive sprint but uh, I had a crash uh, after the first stress day and I had something in my mind to do something in a stage and uh, one was this stage, everybody expects a massive sprint, but I know if I'm good, I can surprise uh, many riders, and uh, today I did it. Can you share with us the last uh, 500 meters? Yeah, um, I know Bistrom, he was a stronger sprinter. I know it was a little bit uphill. I was good at, informed by, uh, by my sport director. And uh, if I hear uh, the last K and a half, we had uh, 30 seconds, 25. I know I need to do something. I stay in the wheel uh, because he was the strongest sprinter. And uh, I wait, I wait, I wait. And I only need to focus on the line and uh, I go on 200 meters. How big is it for you? Oh, it's, I worked uh, very hard to this. Merci, Mats. Got to say, I worked very hard uh, to be selected for the Tour de France. That was uh, for me uh, uh, no selection. And uh, then I worked very hard to the La Vuelta for a stage victory. And here he is. <laughs> and for me, it's uh, fantastic. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.